The pandemic has focused attention on Canada's borders and the confusion over the rules intended to limit the spread of COVID-19. Now the Auditor General has found significant gaps in the testing and follow-up of travellers by the Public Health Agency of Canada. David Aiken joins me now with what the Auditor General discovered and why it matters. David? Well, Donna, it's the second time that Auditor General Karen Hogan has looked at Ottawa's border control measures, and this time she found that as recently as June, the Public Health Agency of Canada could not confirm the health status of tens of thousands of travelers. This is not a success story. The agency's inability to confirm whether more than one third of travelers complied with quarantine orders remains a significant problem. Hogan looked at the border control measures that affected two and a half million travelers arriving in Canada in the 12 month period ending June 30th. Now she focused only on the Public Health Agency of Canada or PHAC and not on border guards or local health officials. Among her findings, while nearly 13,000 travelers were told to go to quarantine hotels, 326 never showed up, 71 refused to go, 45 left without permission, but just 13 tickets were issued. But even those stats may not be accurate because the Auditor General says PHAC had no proof, no record of stay for 75% of those who were sent to quarantine hotels. It really is up to the public health agency to do better at um, monitoring, at gathering data and following up in order to be able to demonstrate how effective uh, these, these border measures are. Perhaps more alarming, the government failed to match 30% of the COVID-19 tests it collected with individual travelers. And where there was a positive COVID-19 test, PHAC failed to follow up 14% of the time. That's more than 1,100 individuals who tested positive that PHAC never tracked. Now, as quarantine hotels and on-arrival tests are back on the menu to prevent the spread of the Omicron variant, the government vows to do better, mostly with beefed-up computer systems and wide adoption of the ArriveCan app. A good and improving system is better than no system at all. And that's why we'll continue to do what we need to do, which is to put into place those measures to protect uh, Canadians in the context of the Omicron variant. But as the Auditor General noted, Donna, PHAC's work to improve those automated systems just started last month. Okay, David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.